Astronauts report it feels good. Two minutes. To infinity and beyond. Are you telling me that you built a time machine? Kind of a DeLorean? What is going on, you two? I'm back with another video for you guys. And if you keep the thumbnail, you keep the title, we're gonna be a little something different for you today. And that is Wolverine's Revenge. So yeah, we're gonna do comic read-alongs, reactions, whatever you want to call it. Uh, I will be reading the Red Band version of this comic, but displaying the standard version since it came with a digital uh, standard copy. Um, so feel free um, later on if you, um, you know, if you have a copy or if you read it, you know, later on we'll be doing a portion where I'll just be going through, like, like I said, kind of reaction and like I said, all spoilers and everything uh, later. Um, so definitely, like, you know, let me know your favorite digital comics book service. Maybe I can hit them up when we get through some kind of sponsorship. Uh, because I was using a particular one that I won't name. Um, just to leave that window open. But uh, yeah, like I said, the whole point of doing this is basically just um, for me to dive into cool stuff. Um, I'm thinking about if this goes well, dump into my backlog. And then, you know, basically just encourage people to get into the medium of comics in general, uh, whether it's reading, buying, creating. Um, you know, I just wanted to make like a a low layer, uh, entry level, low barrier of entry uh, when it comes to just this. And uh, like I said, I'm not the biggest know it all about everything. And, you, know, I, you know, maybe I can just be a bridge um, to where it's not too much pressure. Like you can treat it just like, you know, a new season of a show dropping or an episode or like sometimes I like to think of it as like a straight to DVD or, you know, just a one off movie. Like sometimes with comics, especially with high numbers get loaded in, you think it's hard to get in, but, um, but, uh, like I said, we will do a kind of spoiler portion later, but, uh, nah, I was definitely loving this, uh, like I said, I'll keep it mild spoilers for now, um, but this book was done by Jonathan Pickman, Greg Capullo was the main artist on it, it looks like they had Tom Townsend and, uh, FCO, do, do inking and coloring and like I said I'm mostly familiar with Greg Apulo from like Spawn related stuff for me uh, like I said uh, I definitely want to at least because it never at least try to at least you know maybe um, shine on comics that only I think are cool but my entry into how I pick comics usually it's uh, art first um, for more or less but you know I like a nice mix um you know, so, and then I know Jonathan Hickman is primarily, I don't want to say primarily, but I know him primarily from Fantastic Four, and that's not even, like, a me personal thing, like, I used to just work with, like, uh, homies that were mad at the comics and stuff, and, like, when we used to get, like, cool figurines and, like, just random stuff, I would rip so many characters I wouldn't know, I'm like, yo, who is this character, who is this character, and, they would let me know, like, even, like, he, when my homies, I was, like, a comic book nerd, like, his homie, favorite heroes was, like, Reed Richards and, like, Doctor Strange, and he would just always tell me about, like, y'all, dude, get into this, check this out, because, you know, if someone says their favorite hero is Reed Richards, I'm like, um, but, you know, and shout out to, uh, Mr. Fantastic, but, yeah, this was definitely a dope read, uh, I love every bit of it. I definitely recommend just reading it. Like, if you like Wolverine, oh, uh, now he's going savage straight from the jump. Uh, like, if you guys want a brief summary, I like, saw, so, like, give me a brief summary. Um, it's called Wolverine's Revenge, and immediately um, they set off the stakes um, just in what's going on in the world. A heavy event has happened, and Wolverine is called to action. And, you know, from there, everything just spirals. Tons of dope cameos. Uh, most people you would probably expect would make an appearance. Uh, you guys, a little bit of betrayals. Or, not even betrayals, you just see kind of like who uh, people actually align with in uh, harsh, devastating situations. Um, and... 
you know, you kind of see, like, you think what the revenge is going to be, and then it's like, oh, well, maybe this is kind of why it's a little bit more personal. Um, tons of dope cameos. Um, I will, before we jump into the reaction portion of this, so like I said, read, if you want to read along or, like, you know, peep game, uh, definitely catch along, but if you definitely already read it, like, you know, let me know in the comments how you feel about it, because I definitely will be keeping on going on with this. Like, I don't even know how to rate it out of five, but let's just say, like, I am, I looked up the date for when the next one was coming. I was like, all right, cool. I gotta, I gotta wait a little bit. Um, but yeah, definitely some cool stuff going on. And I will say this, that before we go in, we got a, a cool cameo uh, from Captain America. Like I said, I won't mention too much. Like, you know, just, you know, he makes a brief little, you know, cameo. He's in, he's in and out. Uh, but I will say the art is beautiful. Greg Apulo, we need a Captain America run. Cap is in your, is in your name. So however you want to do it. Like, I think I even say it in the read-along. Um, yeah, because it could be a fun little sh one-off or maybe series just like this. But... Like you'll go through and you'll start it. Like I said, that's the main point. I definitely want to do the read along portion just to highlight cool story points and cool art. Um, but yeah, let's go ahead and dive on in. Like, comment, subscribe. Catch you guys in the rest of the video. Yeah, looks like we're down here to set the stakes a little crazy. <laughs> Way to start it off. So we're getting revenge for something. Magneto. You know, perish a little bit of this man, 97 Shades. But just X Men in general. Looks like. Mm -hmm. Peace that off. Mm -hmm. Man, wait a first page. As soon as you open the book, wait to start it. it. Looks like we're starting off in Antarctica, Savage Lands. And, you know, looks like we got some zebra dudes. And then we got, uh, you know, Dinosaur Branch. Okay. Like I said, we're doing a play by play. Um, but even said right off the bat, so. Wolverine's with them the whole time, just chilling on the Triceratops as they've been trying to, like, they're going into the woods looking for something. Uh, he mentioned something about the sky flashing purple, so maybe Wolverine's here when the EMP went off at Ashley M. Um, so he doesn't really know what's going on. That's what it looks like. Well, if it's acting up in the Savage Land, Wolverine would be <laughs> talking that mess. Got his boy clapped. Instant jugular. Well, it's not a T-Rex actually, but it is definitely a vicious attack of a dinosaur. Uh, but yeah, um, still, you know, nothing too regular, at least in my version, or at least, or at least on the screen, so yeah. Dude, this dude Wolverine is insane. He's out here breaking dinosaurs' teeth after they bite them. So they're basically scrapping, um, on the next page, it is just brutal bloodbath, and it actually looks like pretty cinematic. You can, you can, you can feel that, feel that action in the in, in the frames. Uh, more sheeted up and dealt with that dinosaur real quick. But yeah, it looks like uh, Wolverine is on vacation out here, out here in the Savage Lands. Um, but yeah, we'll go to the next page. So I'll show you some swag. But yeah, it just. Berserker Broad, Berserker Rage, this boy went crazy, a little bit different in the, you know, standard version and the reader own version, but man, this dude, this one, there's actually some pretty cool frames in the reader own version, so I definitely recommend you guys trying to get a copy if you can. Uh, mm -hmm. Like I said, you can dinosaur for goods everywhere. <laughs> yeah, this is getting litty already. We got a uh, Oh, she made Fury popping up, recruiting uh, Wolverine from vacation. Um, yeah, nice little cameo so far. Like, so he's turning baby fighting. What up? Let's see, let's see where this goes. Yeah, so Wolverine is out here on vacation. As like I said, I have no idea what is going on in the outside world. So, I'm gonna take this, uh, um, you know, mini news. Who knows how it's gonna take it? It'll take it. Um, but yeah, because I'm not gonna do word by word, play by play, but yeah, they have like an interesting exchange. But like, you know, it's like, you know, trying to recruit him for 
like America needs you. He was like, well, I'm Canadian. So, you know, you know yeah. it appears there is no Canada. So, so like I said, definitely encourage everyone to think of the, you know, the play by play that all yeah. the states are right. But yeah, it's like we're getting real, we're getting to some facts uh, about the calamity of the asteroid. It looks like it didn't make direct impact, but. It looks like the West, North America, a lot of places are struggling. You know. So yeah, definitely wanted to, you know, kind of show these screams that she got. Bucky Cap. Um, you got Maria, Maria Hill. I don't know if there's a guy here in the yellow. Um, maybe Quake is what I'm seeing in the back. Uh, I think I said Maria Hill. I think it's Dum Dum Dugan. I think it's his name. But uh, yeah. A lot of characters are taken out. Yeah, so grim times after you filled them in on all the stuff that's going on. Yeah, like I said, we're getting more into basically they're just trying to get the power back on the world from the EMP. Um, like I said, it looks like they're trying to do some cool, trying to get a cold fusion seed. Like I said, there's another page that we're going to go to, but uh, it looks like, yeah, the Brotherhood of Evil Mutants, some dude named Mastermind. Sorry, I don't know who that is. I am keep it one hunting around here. Um, but I mostly wanted to stop on this page before I read the next page just to go show for the art. Oh, this is beautiful. Look at this. Look at this cap, man. Oh, that Copulo's design. I mean, from, I mean, everyone, um, from the inker in the color. Um, I'll put their, uh, their names, uh, in the be beginning of the video as well, but it looks like it's going to be... Uh, Tim Townsend and FCO. FCO. It's the colors. I know I see a lot of FCO stuff on Spawn books. Uh, but yeah, definitely. Just look at this design, man. Look at the colors. Look at all this. Like, man, like, this has to be one of the best parts about just doing something like this. Like, yeah, you signed up for a Wolverine book, but like, they're in a cap, they're in a Winter Soldier. Like, they have to have Iron Man here now. That, that's what I'm looking forward to now. Just like seeing how Iron Man looks. It looks in this style. Just see how dope he looks. But no, I definitely wanted to stop before you. you know, like I said, before reading the next page, just wanted to stop here, just so you know, my art lovers are here. But yeah, it looks like we got our game plan, our mission, mission briefing. They're about to extract a seed from the Brotherhood of uh, Evil Mutants. The main three is going to be Cap, Winter Soldier, Wolverine, uh, the guy. So I guess the dude's name is Clay Quartermain. Uh, Clay Clay Quartermain. Uh, Maria Hill and of course Dr. Dugan. I think I mentioned them already. Um, will be, you know, operating the helicarriers. Uh -huh. But yeah, um, the stakes are getting real. Uh, they're definitely adding gravity to the situation. Um, <coughs> like I said, the EMP off, um, leaving the world without electricity, you know, uh, committing millions of people are dying. They're trying to get the lights back on as quick as possible, as possible, so it doesn't become billions. Um, yeah. Um, but yeah, definitely want to, you know, obviously show off Cap a little bit more. It was tough. I was like, who am I going to show off in this frame? Wolverine or Cap? But, you know, a group photo of a cat. Okay. We're going to see a lot of Wolverine um, in that. In the Capullo style. I'm looking dope. Should, should have been obvious, but it looks like the dude that was in the green briefing screen was the dude mastermind that was giving me the thinker kind of vibes uh, from, from, you know, Flash, but it looks like something, not even an ambush, but, you know, he's like a mastermind person. He knows they're going to be there, especially if something like that would sur happen to survive. Yeah, I imagine he knows they're going to come here for the power core or fusion seed. Um, and bam, they jumped. Uh, just a little preview of this nice little page. Um, definitely a beautiful page. Like, I'm not gonna lie. Uh, Cap is out here showing out. Um, so, yeah, it looks like all the helicopters are gone. They got their little skeleton crew and they're about to invade the Brotherhood. Um, but, yeah, I'm gonna go to the next page. I know I already said this again, but now nah, look at that cat. Give me, like, trust me, let me know if something like this happens for a cat, for a cat. Like, give me a Greg Capullo cat in America. I'm reading it off the strength of off the art alone, off the strength of it. Uh, but yeah, I definitely just wanted to stop by, show this out now.
this has to be one of the funnest parts about doing a book like this, obviously, like I said, I know I said I mentioned it before, but you know, you get, you know, you get Wolverine, and you get to throw in all these other characters and cameos, and now it feels like, you know, almost like a Captain America audition or a Captain America book, or at least for this whole thing. All I'm going to say is, I turned a page, it is getting real. So, obviously, they just landed from the plane, plane crash, which, like I said, I'm thinking, they just made a comment about all the helicopters that are on the phone, thinking, Maybe I'm still like Nick Fury, everyone toast. Well, that's the kind of energy we on because as, while I don't show you the full image, this page gives you hints of what is going on. You see a pack, and you see a, you know, a Fury shadow. Um, and like I said, we got, we got some hells going on. I'm loving how they're giving it like a, a spooky approach as well. Like it's definitely stealth cinematic, um, not full character reveals like the moment just yet. Give you hints of who it is. Yeah, I'm pretty sure we all know who it is at this point, but they take Wonder Soldier off the board potentially. Yeah, as we continue to get more hints of who is creeping on the fellas. Uh, Definitely doing me. <laughs> Marvel vs. Capcom, even though it's just Marvel vs. Capcom. Which is Marvel. Uh, uh, definitely a classic interaction. Mark. And there it is. The ambush mob themselves. Dead Bull, Saber 2, Full Mega Red. But somewhat cousins. Uh, it's funny too. Uh, Wolverine. Perfect Wolverine. So he, he smelled them out. Definitely the advantage that no, no one else seemed to have. But, uh, hey, let's see what they have going on. But a shout out to Cap. Definitely, like I said, running me that uh, uh, Greg Capullo art, the Captain America series. We'll see what happened to the fellas. They may be cooked, may not be. But, no, definitely had a show off this all frame real quick but everyone's just looking at dope i'm not gonna even show them the pool i'll make a rant but nah beautiful 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 frame um, i'm actually about to go back just to show this captain Marvel, just to show how dope it is and there you go uh youtube audience a free wallpaper just look at this and then right after this we got the old mega red strike so yeah, it looks like it's safe to say Wolverine well, got jumped. I love um, the difference between, I guess you know, I'll say the rated R version and the standard version. Um, in the standard version, it had the words, the boss wants a word with you before we shut your eyes for good. And just black, like, you know, they run up on him. It goes black, you hear the words, and they just punch him out. And you wake up in this kind of, like, scene of Wolverine and Bucky and Captain America. Um, but in the rated R version, you actually get a full page of them just on your boys slapping them around. Um, but yeah, um, it looks like, yeah, they're waking up in this lab, lab, chained up, and they all have something operated in the chest, like a bomb, possibly, or something. So it looks like, yeah, a mastermind, Omega Red, Deadpool, Sabretooth, up to somewhere shenanigans. I guess Wolverine was awake the whole time. Oh, yeah, it's getting freaky and creepy. Um, who knows, maybe I'll show the frame, but it's definitely a nice cool user that I think everyone should go on down and try to find that page of, you know, uh, the four of them, uh, Omega Red, Wolverine, and Deadpool, and Sabretooth all fight. It's a beautiful page. But the next page, we got confirmation that they got a bomb, got a bomb in their chest, and it looks like they use, they use some kind of version of Omega Red's disease to cut uh, Wolverine open to get past his killing factor. But yeah, they plant bombs in uh, Captain America, America, Bucky, and Wolverine. Wolverine. So yeah, yeah. <laughs> they're getting freaky. And look who we got with the wild those those some grunt in the hood. Wasn't even next to Mike Epstein. And on the last page, uh, uh, was like, was like the better at the better UP. I wasn't even the page. Colossus. Uh, you know, 
he basically, you know, forget all that egg and stuff, so he wrote his real, his real home about Russia. Um, so they're, they're assuming he's letting, he's letting them know the same, prepare, prepare for a cold winter. Um, bomb chest and every chest and everything. Like, see where he is. He has been talking to you to the losses. Which I don't blame him. Um, um, we'll see how far Captain America and Winter Soldier bombs and bombs in their chest. Yes. Let's see, let's see, what is this whole conflict? This astral mind, astral mind is supposed to be a master mind, two point, two point, with, but maybe they knew what happened before and before after because it seems because it seems it seems like they're talking like talking like in the northern hemisphere they're the only people with with our own our own it it just like us did it don't don't trust anybody with a remote especially if that person with one is dead well, because it was like it was like they not get to, not get too far just a hater I don't, I don't yeah, they're definitely like on some political, political tug of war. Um, the fall of all west. But they're like, you know, you know, I don't know how dead that could have that could have that could have he was Canadian, but you know, losses on that. Where I die, I die. Russia. And yeah, yeah, even on the next page of God's, God's, <coughs> we'll getting get ready to explode. So yeah. Um, let's pay your respects to Cat vs. Major. Yeah, if you don't got it, if you don't got it, originative actor. Yeah, like I was saying, Captain America is on the helm on the helm of helm the Russia. We got a little bit of Wolverine action. action. Explosive. Let's get dive. Um, I mean, obviously they had to know that was going to take over right now, right now. Um, but yeah, but yeah, it looks like they're, like I said, they're planning on that, you know, you know rolling the world kind of, you know, Soviet world that we're thinking. Yeah, they're talking about obviously relighting, relighting their half of the world and just leaving the West off the die. And basically, basically. You know, look at their greatness as they will and flourish, just leave them to, you know, defend for themselves. Uh, th th this is one of the pages for sure, for sure, for sure. And then you even get, you even get an extra page of generated, generated, generated. Uh, uh, red, red band, red band, uh, version. It's definitely like all and goofy and again, again, like, you know, weird, weird sign. Definitely dope. Um, nice, beautiful uh, preview of issue two. Uh, uh, um, I get to see a little bit of both the red band version and the uh, standard. Just you know, just more blood. But looks like we got some targets. Targets are hit list. I'm sure that sure that we got out. Um, but yeah, if you're still still liking this. Like it's I think go ahead and like, like, comment and subscribe to your right to boy because we definitely. I'll be back for issue two. <coughs> Cause yeah, uh, for your boy, your boy, yeah. for for my soldier, uh, you gotta take him out. Um, um, and then hell, you're Magneto, the Magneto. Who knows what's going on in this world? Um, so I know we uncover some more kind of things, but yeah, like I said, uh, I said. Uh, Appreciate you guys for stopping in. Like, like, comment, subscribe. See you guys. I'm touching myself tonight.